I knew that something was wrong with that painting from the very moment I laid my eyes on it. The way her eyes seemed to follow my every move, as if begging me to keep looking at her and to never leave. The young lady was seated at a table full of books and papers, resting her chin on her pale, delicate hands. Her blonde hair gently brushing against her face. It seemed as if she was caught just at the right moment of reverie while taking a break from her studies. In spite of the woman's beauty, her face seemed almost expressionless. Not even a hint of a smile, no matter how vague. Her captivating brown eyes, instead, seemed to compensate for all her features that didn't convey any emotion. As insane as it may seem, I had no doubt that she was looking right at me, as if trying to get my attention, as if she wanted something from me. However, no one else around me seemed to be phased by the painting, so I just moved on and tried to let it go. But I couldn't. On the way home, I kept looking up information on the artist and his work, trying to pull my mind at ease. It seemed I had no luck, until I got to the third page of the results. That's how I found out the painting was actually his only one. He was offered as much as $300,000 for it, but preferred to donate it to the museum. He ended up shooting himself in the head and was found only weeks later. As much as that unnerved me, I tried to push it to the back of my mind and focus on my life. Something that happened a century ago shouldn't have an effect on me, I told myself. Until my wife went missing. She left home for work, but never made it. And the search lasted for weeks, with no results. With each passing day, the chances became slimmer, until they called it off. Naturally, I was considered a suspect. But in the end, they had no evidence against me. So they let me go and grieve in peace. What they didn't know was that I had someone in mind. But if I told them, they would have called me insane. But I couldn't ignore it any longer either. The pouring rain didn't stop me from racing to the museum. I got to the painting as fast as I could and fell to my knees. Why did you do this? Why? I wanted to punch it, rip it to shreds, but I couldn't even find the strength to get up. My shrieks were only met with the stares and whispers of the other visitors. I knew security was on the way. From beyond the frame, my wife's piercing blue eyes were fixed on me, as if... as if saying goodbye. Please leave your message 